Shalom. One last update. It's Saturday, July 6th, and on my last video, I thought that I'd be able to finish these two last night, but I was losing daylight too fast, couldn't really see what I was doing, so I just got one in the house, and I started the lettering on it, and I didn't upload the other video yet. Because I left out one detail and I thought about doing it over, but I thought maybe I'll just include it in this one. And I brought up the impurities in the steel and how you have to get it hot enough for them to rise to the top to get out. And you can see on this one right in here, that may file out of there. I haven't taken the file to this one yet. And most of the time I can get down and file it out of there and sometimes I can't and I discovered that on these two so what I had to do was I had to come in with this guy with the cutting wheel and cut the impurity out and get down to some some quality steel and then I had to re-weld it put some quality steel back in there and then I had to re-grind it and refile it and the reason why I bring all of this up, because the scripture tells us that we will be purified. The fires of affliction purify us like gold. And that's how they do gold. They melt it down, and the impurities, the dross, rises to the top as it cools. And they scrape that off as it cools, and that leaves just the pure gold underneath. And it's much the same way in building these anchors. So there's so much scriptural uh, parallel to building these anchors and serving the Lord. But once you start serving the Lord, you can find the uh, biblical parallels and everything. So I got these two done. They're painted. A little bit of clear coat and I can take them inside and start the lettering. Now these, let's see, two, four, six, eight, yep, eight unfinished that I'll have to probably finish when I get back. I don't know that I'll have time before we leave, but they'll be going out one way or another. God bless you. Shalom.